the data women had started in 2018, we saw the need in the community. Maybe people who are retired or bereaved or on their own who need to be involved in community, uh, meeting other women and sharing skills. The crack, the laugh, making new friends. They're all just nice people and everyone is treated the same. When you come in here, you get involved, particularly in the knitting of the blanket and teaching somebody else. My first day there, I went with nothing and I came out with a ball of wool and a crochet needle and I was taught how to crochet. So ever since, I'm crocheting. And you'll always meet someone with a smiling face. And we just chat away and we knit, we all knit, we all cope. A lot of our members crochet and knit blankets for our local hospital here in Dungarvan and University Hospital Waterford and the Palliative Care Unit. Our aim is to have as many blankets as we possibly can. We pack them up in bags. Palliative Care wanted some hearts to give to um, the family after the person has passed away. We also have the little bears. So they're very simple. There's nothing fancy about them, but they love them when they're sick and in hospital. They have their blanket and their doll. It's very hard to keep up with uh, the amounts of wool that's used. So we're always fundraising, trying to get more money for wool. And we were absolutely delighted to get that grant. That was just amazing. It meant so much to us. There was wool there. We didn't have to go fundraising for it or anything. It was there. I mean, all the blankets I'm going to bring down now next week will have been all from that grant. I got the phone call from my own son, Paul. He said, I'm in hospital with multiple cancers. I was given a beautiful crochet blanket for Paul, knitted by Jackie, one of the members, and he said it's a lovely thing to be able to wrap yourself in the blanket when you're feeling very low and very cold. I think they get a sense of giving uh, and sharing, and it means an awful lot to them, you know, because we often get letters from the hospital stating, you know, how pleased and delighted uh, the patients were. Heartwarming and a smiley tear in your eye is when they, they send letters in. It makes you feel really worthwhile, the whole thing. I, I feel when I, when I made one of those first blankets, I had no idea what it was for like. And then as I got in, I realised and the pleasure I get when I finish a blanket and know it's going to someone, you know, that's sick. And it's called a blanket of hope and it just makes me feel good. That's it. I can't say anymore.